Hi guys, so welcome back to Mrs M's Baking Show. We're now on part three of our sweet treats for Halloween and we are doing gruesome cupcakes. Right, so as normal, wash your hands, warm soapy water, mine's all done, and let's get started. I'll show you the ingredients. So here we go then guys, our ingredients. We have 110 grams of butter, 110 grams of caster sugar, and 110 grams of self-raising flour. Nice and easy recipe, easy to remember because obviously 110 grams of each of the items. We then have two eggs and we're going to have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Right, let's get started. First things first, we need to cream together our butter and our sugar. So we'll stick that one in there. As mentioned on a few of my other videos, you can use a mixer for this if you so wish. I have issues with mixers, they don't ever do it quite right and it's not as good as using a good old wooden spoon if you ask me. It's a good old stir. And as you can hear whirring in the background, my oven's on again, and you want to preheat the oven this time to 180 degrees C. And then you'll be ready to go. Right, so that's all nicely creamed together now, as you can see. Right, you want to take your two eggs, and you want to give them a beat. Let's find ourselves a cup. You never find them in my ass cups. Right, there we go, one. Go to. No double yokers today, guys. Just that lucky one the other day. Right. Give those a quick beat together. Right. Now you want to add your egg in a little bit at a time. When it starts to look like it's separating, don't panic. That's the worst thing you could do. Starts to look like that. That's the time you just keep mixing and then you start adding in a little bit of your flour. Now you want to sift your flour in. I've already done that in my bowl so I can just add a little bit at a time. And then that brings the mixture back together again. go look see and then you do the same again same process so a little bit of egg oh, that's a golden color and then a little bit more of your flour and you just keep doing this until all your flour and your egg mixture has gone making sure you scrape down the edge of your bowl so you've got nothing left over. And also scrape out your egg cup. Make sure you've got all out of that. that one. There we go, we'll tip in the rest of our flour. It and just bringing it all together. Give it a good stir. Right, so there we go. That's our mixture when it's all brought together. Looking very nice. Right, now we need to put in our vanilla extract. So I get my handy spoons, find my teaspoon. Now obviously you don't have to use vanilla, if you want to put another flavouring in you can, that is totally up to you. I just like vanilla, I think it's nice, we're going to have enough icing on the top anyway that I think just vanilla cupcakes would be nice. So again, mix that all in, give it 
a good mix and we're good to go right so now what you want to do is get yourself a baking tray like so and you want some cupcake cases now you can use plain ones colored ones anything you like i've got some decorative ones here so i'm going to use these ones you just want to arrange them on your baking tray like so some green ones maybe some yellow and red that would be a good one wouldn't it so do some yellow ones like that and last one some red ones like so again then what you want to do is you want to spoon your mixture into your cupcake cases now i've got a little bit of a trick here i like to use an ice cream scoop simply because you can then measure exactly how much mixture is going into each one which means hopefully it should come out that they're all equal so there we go just take a scoop of it and scoop it into your cake case kind of easier as well to be fair so there we go we're just doing all of that until each case is filled up like so your spoon and everything else unless you've got somebody in the house who likes to lick the bowl which then maybe don't scrape so much Right, there we go then. So that's our cupcake cases all full look and ready to go. So like I said, into a preheated oven, 180 degrees C for probably 20 minutes. Give them a check after 15, I would. So we'll stick ours in and I'll check back with you shortly. Hi guys, Mrs M here. Just while our cupcakes are in the oven baking, I thought I'd share some things with you. Obviously, as a baker, I have to do a lot of shopping for ingredients and things to decorate the cupcakes and the bakes that I make. So I just thought I'd share where it is that I go shopping. So our funky cupcake cases here, which you saw me putting all my mixture into, these are just Audi basic ones, but they are really funky and really nice. So I do like to get a lot of my stuff from Audi. So that's good. Then I also found these, which I thought were fantastic. These are little like googly eyes, edible ones, which is fantastic. And they're gonna go on top of our cupcakes. And these ones were from Home Bargains. Now that's another place that I do like to get a lot of my baking stuff from. And they also do some really funky, different colored food colorings as well which is great because sometimes you need the weird and wonderful colors um please if you've been out and about and you've seen anything that you think would be good we've got christmas coming up so any sort of decorations for the cupcakes the gingerbread anything you think would be helpful please just comment and let me know that would be fantastic and would help me a great deal i'll keep nipping these things in here for you to find out where i get them from because it's helpful for you also and uh, i'll see you in a few minutes when the cakes are out the oven Right, so while our cupcakes are out of the oven and cooling, we're going to make the icing ready for decorating. So, we have got 300 grams of royal icing sugar, which we've just sifted into the bowl, and we have 150 grams of butter. So we're going to stick that all in. Oh, there we go. Me making a mess again, as usual. I'm going 
give that a stir now it might and it does look like there's a lot of icing sugar to butter but trust me you have to just keep mixing it together and it comes together Whoop! there we go again I told you the other night didn't I me and my sister love making a mess especially when we're baking As you can see, ice and sugar also makes a lot of mess. Which is why I also used a high sided bowl as well. And as you keep working it, it will start to come together. So. I've decided that I'm going to do, for the decoration, I'm going to do some Frankenstein cupcakes, I'm going to do some pumpkin ones, or as the Americans call them, jack-o'-lanterns, and I'm going to do some ones with little creatures crawling out, which I think will look really, really good. So as you can see, starting to come together now so just keep stirring like I said if you want to use a mixer save your arms you can I just like doing this and there we go right so we're going to split this obviously into three because we're making three different cupcakes we're going to do three different colours of icing there we go, look, we've creamed it all together now. Right, so we'll put a little bit into that bowl. We will put a little bit into that bowl. And we'll just keep a little bit in this bowl. Right, so we've got our trusty food colouring again. We'll do this one green, so just a few drops in to start. And then obviously if you're not happy with the colour, you just add a little bit more. Make sure you get all the icing from around the sides as well. I should end up it being marbled with green and white. Right, so there we go. That's our green ready and raring to go. And then we're going to do an orange one for the pumpkins. So let's get that going. So the same again. We'll swap over. A few drops in this one like so for your pumpkins. Let's get ourselves another spoon. Oh. Never any spoons in my house. That will do. Right. Give that one a mix. Oh, that's a good colour. Look, a nice and lovely bright orange colour. And then we're going to do a red one as well. Just to have our, ooh, our little creatures crawling out of. Back in the dishwasher again. So there we go, we'll give that a mix. Oh yes, that's a good colour. might even go a little bit more I think because it looks a little bit pinky you want it to be red like blood red oh yes that's better definitely yes much better right so there's the red already 
and done. Right. And we've also got, these are our little creatures that are going to be crawling out. And these, as I showed you before, are little edible googly eyes. Right, so here are our cupcakes out of the oven, all cooled and ready to go. As you can see, the whole ice cream scoop works, see? Works well. Right, so we're going to do our red icing first. So let's take three of our cupcakes, we'll just move these ones over here. Now, we've got our icing in our piping bags already. Now, if you remember the trick from last time, over the mug so you can scoop it in. And we're just going to twizzle it. And we are just going to pipe just like this. Doesn't have to be uniform, any odd way you like. Because we're just going to have some creatures popping out. So there we go. Just keep squeezing from the top. Like I said, doesn't have to be uniform, however you want it to look. If you're one of these people that like to prepare, then feel free to maybe draw out how you want your cupcakes to look. Research it. The internet's, internet's great for that. But me, I just like to add lib sometimes. Right, so you, again, just carry on as you were doing until all of the top of your cupcake is covered. Squeezing from the top of your piping bag, just like so. And then just go back and check that there's no other bits just to fill in. Right, there we go. So, once that's done, we're going to take our little jelly sweets. And we're literally going to have these things poking out the top. We've got little spiders. There's a few pumpkins, little worms, stick them in any old way, doesn't matter how. Just like so. This one's got a little bat on. That one's a little pumpkin. And there you have it. Our spooky little ones. Right, I'm going to grab a plate because you want to stick these into the fridge to set. So we'll stick these ones in and then we'll get on with the next ones. So, next one we're going to do is we're going to do our pumpkins. So we'll grab another three of our cupcakes and we'll grab our icing. Now this time we're not going to pipe the icing on, we're just going to spread it on. So we will simply just spread on the icing, taking a little bit from the bowls. And just spreading it round. Making sure you've got enough on there and you go all the way round to the edges. So again, don't worry about it being necessarily neat and tidy. Just want to make them look spooky. Right. Same again, look. All the way around with the icing. Just spreading it on. I'm doing mine quite thickly because I quite like a nice bit of icing if you like it a bit thinner. You could also use royal icing for this one if you didn't want to use buttercream icing. Totally up to you. But you want to just try and smooth them out because we're going to draw our faces on them. So smooth them all out. There you go, like so. Any leftover icing you can just save for later. Right, so we're going to get our black writing ink and then you can draw your design, whichever one you like. Onto your pumpkin, so I'm going to do some with triangle eyes, I think, like that. These icing pens they can sometimes be a bit tricky, so you want to give them a really good squeeze. Maybe a triangle nose, then we're going to do a scary mouth. Oh 
go and I'm going to fill in as well in between they look a bit scarier so there we go but again like I've mentioned before you can decorate these cakes anywhere you like so there's one ready to go and maybe same again triangle eyes just fill those in with the writing icing and then what shall I do I might do a just an open mouth this time and a little nose there you go there's another scary one and the same again you just keep going until they're all completely decorated and again same you can do any kind of decoration you like this one I'm going to do an open mouth I think Make it look a little bit more scary. And there you have it. Our lovely little pumpkin ones. So, there we have those ones. We're going to put these in the fridge now. Just to set. And then we can get on with our Frankensteins. These are going to look absolutely perfect for the Halloween party that me and my little kiddies are going to tomorrow. Obviously, if you guys are going to any sort of parties or making any sort of Halloween cupcakes or biscuits, please feel free to send me pictures. I would love to see them. Right, so these, we've got four left of these. And now we're going to do our Frankenstein. So, our green buttercream. And the same again, we are going to spread this on this time. So we're just going to get some of our buttercream and just spread it on our cupcake. Now this one doesn't need to necessarily be so smooth, it can be bumpy if you like with this one, just because it's Frankenstein. Oh, did you hear that, everybody? That's my stomach. I can tell it's getting near lunchtime. So just keep spreading like I'm doing all over the cupcakes. Okay, keep spreading it all on. much or as little as you like and there we go that's those all covered Right, we're going to use our fabulous googly eyes now. I think these are absolutely fantastic. I'm going to stick one there and one there. And to be fair, if you were just making ghosts, just the googly eyes look quite good as well. looks like the jelly man at Hotel Transylvania too. Right now I think Frankenstein has a bit of black hair so we'll go with black hair across the top like so now it was quite difficult for me to find writing icing with the right colours in especially black so I've in the end managed to find it at Sainsbury's was where I got the black writing icing from so it might be wise to keep an eye out if you know you're going to do something like this to get some in stock maybe okay so we've done his hair just across the top now I think he has some sort of hashtag 
if I remember rightly, for his mouth. So I'm just going to do a hashtag. Kind of mouth. There we go. And then doesn't he have like the bolts coming out of the side of his head as well? So I might just do a couple of bolts coming out the side of his head look like that. Like I said, just keep going. But you want to make sure you give them long enough to freeze. So there we go. There's our little Frankensteins. Which my kids are absolutely going to love. So same again, into the fridge to chill. I'd give them probably 10, 15 minutes to chill. And then we will get them all out to have a look and show you. So I'll check back with you shortly. And here we go then guys, 10 minutes in the fridge and here are our finished cupcakes. I think they look absolutely fantastic. Please, 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 if you guys do any baking of any of my recipes, please send me some pictures. I would love to see what your creations turn out like. Hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you back here soon for another recipe.